Hey guys, bringing you another gameplay commentary. I haven't released a new video, but this is on playing versus Ricky and Nyx. Uh, every time I play Rubik, you see this clip, but I love doing this. <laughs> like every time I play Rubik, you see this, but yeah. You know, since this channel is based on helping people, I don't know, whomever, even if it's ne anyone that's new, it's just gonna go over playing versus Ricky and Nyx, or any other hero that's really an invisible hero, or maybe Spirit Breaker and Night Stalker who make you want to change and go into 5 man status. But yeah, uh, my way for the carrier here is I knew he was gonna get a uh, CP scroll. So pretty much, like, he started off great, and I'm like, kinda want him mid to an extent because of that. But yeah, now it's Tinker versus DK, Alchemist Abaddon versus Kanka and Nyx, and me, and Slardar as Ricky. Either way, once I, I usually once I get my 100 gold, I go for a smoke gank, and right here is a mistake by me. Like, I saw my smoke get revealed, and I was thinking maybe it's high ground or whatever, but I didn't realize that Ricky was level 6 already. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have done this, but yeah, I pretty much died. It was a stupid mistake by me to assume that he wasn't level 6 yet. But yeah, uh, in the beginning this Alchemist, I consider him, and I kind of do, not a great player. He did a lot of mistakes and whatever, but we still won, but you know, still. Either way, each pull, this Kanka just spla does the splash damage and gets the kill, and Nyx is going in. So right here, a small fight ensues on this Abaddon. He's pretty tanky and everything, so he doesn't worry about anything, but... Alchemist just doesn't even care about him until I tell him, okay dude, look at this, go we'll help him free kills or whatever. So he charges up his stun, and <laughs> that creep really helped a lot. But yeah, get two kills for that, a double kill for this Abaddon, but he dies, but oh well. So basically it's going great right now. If I was this Alchemist, I would have backed off because I wouldn't know where this Ricky is and he gets like out really badly outplayed right there and he's like I'm done or whatever because he hasn't been playing that great and he's not that much of a great player in my opinion neither am I but you know whatever criticizing other players who cares <laughs> yeah, if this Dragonite would have stunned right there I think we would have killed him killed this Ricky but oh well I should have probably called it out since my fault also yeah, this Abaddon right here got too greedy for one creep and it's gonna cost him his life. I mean, he's Abaddon, but he still doesn't have his ultimate, so he should be careful at all times. And there you go, he gets So, this Alchemist stuns, backs off. This Slardar has his Blink Dagger already, which is good. He's been farming bot. But, yeah, we're kind of Right here, I was telling DK to go on Ricky because the sentries were on their way, but they arrived all late. And I was thinking the stun was going to be able to hold him for the sentries to come, but yeah, right here, and both of our carries die. So it's like we're losing pretty badly right now. What is it? Six minutes in or whatever. He's trying to bust some Havo shit, but he should have prepped up the stun a bit earlier if he wanted to do something like this. He still dies, but if he would have prepped the stun earlier, he would have lived. Bottom tower is under attack. Either way, yeah, we're kind of losing now all our lanes, even with a great start. Well, this is happening. Well, actually, there's just free farm bot, so that's never good. And this al they're just basically camping this alchemist, and that's a glitch right there, but yeah, they're just camping alchemist and just shutting him down as much as they can. He really is our really hard carry, but yeah, they're just shutting him down as much as I can. And this Ricky's been talking shit all game. He's like, got this, got Dyer's that, whatever. So you know. The only way Dyer's to shut them up is by beating them or owning them. Either way, they're pushing our top tower, so we're like, okay, we'll trade two towers for that one tower. Nyx is going in with Tinker. So he still manages to get mid tower. Our top tower is falling, but that cost his life. We we should have probably TP'd in sooner, but we were trying to get this bottom tower badly. And we get it, and here comes a TP reaction by Slardar. But this DK's dead, and then I come in, he gets the stun. 
and I'm going up to the left side to try and cut him off. So, he's body blocking. We're right here, Telekinesis, Fade Bolt, and... Oh no, I guess I didn't need it. But I get stunned. She probably backed off, because I think Kunkka is coming. Is it? Oh no. This Alchemist doesn't have any farm, because they've been killing him. Yeah. Life stealer, free farming. So yeah, we have a ward right there, so we managed to see Tinker, and we're, I'm thinking, like, okay, we'll pick this guy off and we'll be in a good position to maybe team fight or anything like that. So you get him, but then the tur the carapace by this Nyx, and then the Torin and Boat. This Nyx didn't even see me, so that stun was lucky. And splash damage managed to kill me, but then here's Ricky. So, they're basically on our tower, and this alchemist does, doesn't give a fuck, and he's just farming. So, I don't know what the hell is up with him. I'm like, really, what are you doing, man? Now he gets a TP, but it's all late. We just lost everyone while he's farming. You know, little things like that, you can tell they probably don't have map awareness, so they're not that good. And on the mic, he was acting like a child, so he was not great. But yeah, this alchemist is about to die. This Nyx is doing his job by just trying to pick people off all the time while his ult is up. So, there you go, he's dead. Ricky talking shit. And yeah. See right here. Oh, right, my bad. Or right, after they kill him, they're about to go on DK. So I just lift up and then we're like, we should back off. Then. DK goes on him. Like, okay, we'll take these two off. I still impel, but then here comes Tanka. Current boat. We're fucked. Uh, we should have seen that coming when we're all cluttered up like that. Oh, wait, this DK's still alive, so I just died. So it's not bad. But then they kind of. They're kind of just like going back and forth right now. Nothing happened. Yeah. Okay, and Nyx ulti's up, so he's gonna try and pick someone off, but the good thing is... Oh wait, it's with Ricky this time also. They managed to pick off the Alchemist, and if you're paying attention to the map, you're like, two guys are right there, why the hell would he stay in this camp? But Abaddon managed to pop, pop up his ulti, but he still dies. Great stun by Solardo. I thought I stole Imp help, but if I would've stolen Imp help, it would've been a whole different fight than what's gonna happen right now. Yeah, Flardar still trying to go in. And I'm just trying to fade bolt. I still have mana burn. So it's like, a whatever skill. I get him, and then the. Oh shit, he's only one right click gets to me, and I try to go in for him. But that's what costed us to die right here. I would have just backed off. So we all managed to die by the turn of flash damage, and this alchemist prepped his stun here. First, he's probably not even gonna reach and if he does why would he fight a 1v4-5 well that's kind of dumb but yeah they're so far ahead they could just come in our jungle and kill us life stealer is just gonna kill him real quick he already has his desolator i believe it's like 20 and 9 19 minutes in so they're pretty much getting old right here there's like really nothing we can do we're just getting picked off everywhere we're not safe in our jungle. I have sentries. But, yeah. Sentries and wards. That's all I could buy. They can't do anything. Just placing wards, and this Nick is. This Nyx is going to pick me off right here. I'm so squishy. Damn. It sucks. Like, bam. Fen Vendetta. Gone. Mana burn. And I'm dead. This snake still just take it to go off. Look at that, they melted Alchemist, they melted Slaughter. This DK is trying to do some harassment, but there's nothing we can do. As far as them, I always just be behind the tower because they have two Invis heroes, and that's what happened. Now they're dead. Can't do anything. Just getting on like so hard, even near our tower. 
So I'm just staying, staying behind the tower just because I know that. And then this hero will be waiting for us. So yeah, just walking around the tower. At this, while this is going on, Kanka's just fucking owning us. So it's five of us, or as far as I know, we're getting home. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe the Invis hero left, but nope, he waited there for me. I still have clouds, so I managed to survive. And now they kind of overcommitted. Alchemist throws his stun, it gets him. Now they're going on this life stealer, this Lagar blink stun, get him. And then he tracks this Nyx. So we have vision. First hit, first hit pass. Lucky. So we get two kills. That's pretty good. So that's great. If we need all the kills we can get. <laughs> and here's the small team fight. It's the boat. I take the boat. I try um to block this the people going for Abaddon, but yeah, they don't go for him and they just go and turn on Alchemist. And he said so we're just getting on, heading back to Fountain. You know, Dragon Knight's just farming bot, but I don't blame him because, like, he can't team fight him, he'll just die. So the best thing to do is farm and push out the lanes a bit. And here comes that Ricky, but then good thing that Abaddon was right there, so he manages to live. While well, I'm heading there, just in case something happens. Dyer's top tower and, is but attack. so are they. And I'm, we almost kill him, but that was pretty dumb of us getting caught like that. Let's all cluttered up yet again. Uh, just, we keep doing that and we don't learn from it. It's pretty dumb. But yeah, just get on two of us. For, we didn't get anyone. Because I don't think I had a sentry address. So stupid of me also. Going in like that. Well, so now Slarder has the blink and armlet. It's not bad, I guess, but he's like our most farm hero, and it's all he we all he has compared to their heroes have. Dyer's middle he has tower is under attack. Oh wait, here goes the blame game. <laughs> My bad, I forgot to mention that. Like they're blaming each other. DK is blaming it on Alchemist, but look at all of our scores. We're all doing horrible. It's not just one guy. Losing the whole game for us. Sure, he can potentially give him an advantage or something, but you don't lose because of that one guy. But it's all a team game, you know. And so far, right now, we're all doing bad. Either way, this is the item that changes the whole freaking game for us. The slaughter finally gets the gem. I was gotten it, but I don't have any money. But yeah, like heroes like Ricky, Nix, Spirit Breaker, Night Stalker, they make you play a different way by sticking together or else you're gonna get picked off and never gonna progress in anything. DK stuns up this Tinker and Slardar comes in, done. We get him so we're like okay we have a gem, we can deward near Roshan and the one down we might be able to take Roshan. Kanka, to be honest, Kanka would have fucked us up. But good thing they weren't near there, so yeah, we take Roshan right now. And at this point, we're deciding who should get it, and I'm thinking and telling everyone that should be Slaughter because he's the one that's initiating blinking in its, and I was gonna say blink and slamming, but he's blinking in and stunning. But then, of course, this Alchemist decides to get it. I would have been fine with that if he was with team fights, but it's usually just four of us and Alchemist is farming. Which isn't good. Either way, we get two kills right here thanks to that gem. And finish off the keep stack. The ancient stack. But, it's building into a battle fury of farming item. Which I don't think that's what we need. And, yeah, there, here goes the Aegis we just got. And now it's gone. Notice how we were all kind of together. Except for this alchemist who decided. Well, never mind. We were, well, kind of we were, but. There was only one there, alone, like way far away from the other team. But yeah, I brought up a smoke and time to smoke up. Try and pick. Oh wait, now right here we see Ricky attack and Slardar blinks in and then tracks him. And we managed to kill him. Lots of gold for his 
He's the one killing mostly everyone with next. And this Ricky talking shit still, so even if even in death he talks shit. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why people are this her like that. But yeah, this life stealer's too confident and it's tower diving us in tier three, but now he's dead. They're still playing the same way and not improving not improving their gameplay on the situation. They're still think trying to pick people off even though we have a gem. But while well, we're sticking together for the most part. So right here we use up the smoke. And it's time to try and pick people off. Notice it's four of us. Well I'm behind because I have regular boots at this point I think. And Alchemist is just farming. But they're lucky they, they were also separated. But if it was a full on five I don't think we would have won. But yeah, we managed to get this Kanta. We had no, no um, vision there, so we just got lucky. We get them and take their creeps, their ancient. So, and Alchemist manages to kill Tinker on his own, so that's great. A couple of seconds later, Slaughter has an illusion rune, so he, fuck, he kills the illusion rune. And he gets that <laughs> first hit fast again. BK's coming from behind, but he gets stunned up. I managed to steal Carapace, which isn't a bad spell. So yes, Lardar blinks in. Uh, stun. Keep trying to say blink and slam. Blink in and slam. Either way. Yeah, we get a double kill. So it's like pretty much right now. We're like totally catching up. And this Ricky's starting to get mad, I guess. Or it's not talking shit anymore. But yeah, they're letting this Alchemist free form, which is. He's like an anti mage. If you get him free farm, thanks to his passive, he's just gonna farm, get all his farm back. So he has a lot of gold now. And we're still um, keeping the pressure up. Since they're all down, well, most of them we'll get another kill. So yeah, we're in a roll, so we're trying not to stop it. Because that's the only way we're gonna win. Keeping them on check. Slaughter's <laughs> just doing harassment damage. While Alchemist is pushing top, getting his farm up. But yeah, you have to play differently depending on the situation. And grouping up with the gem has sure proven really helpful. Because they're just still trying to pick people off. I thought Alchemist would have backed off a while ago, but I guess he got lucky. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, we're all just grouping up like waiting in case someone decides to jump in. We're all here to counter initiate DK's farming jungle. We're doing instant stacks for max efficiency. This Kunk was alone. And I don't know, this alchemist, what he was thinking or anything, trying to pick people off, but that cost him his life. Uh, oh well. <laughs> Like talking shit. Oh, here comes the next next bomb. Next next bomb. <laughs> and they managed to kill me, but at this point I don't even have enough farm to do anything either way. So two kills for a price of a support is pretty good. That first hit bash again on our side. Tinker sheep stick and he's focused Abaddon for whatever reason. And now Ricky's there. And we're about to pick off this tanker off also. So it's three kills for the price of a support. The so yeah, I see they're sticking to that that picking people off though, whatever. Well we're sticking together and counter initiating them. So now we have two gems. Yeah. So there you go, full team wipe for a price of a Rubik because they weren't sticking together and it was only mix and mix. But yeah, pretty much we're back in the game getting all freaking all our items Assault Kuros and Slardar DK has crit, BKB, Helm of the Dominator Abaddon has four stats, another gem from the one picked up Urn and Vladimir Alchemist has Maelstrom, Battle Fury, Shadow, what is it? Shadow Blade and I have Arcane Boots yeah I built another Urn by mistake but yeah, so we have arcane boots. I'm so fed. 
This Ricky has Fusel and Eagle Song, so they're not farmed anymore. Or we're just far ahead. So basically we take Roshan. Again, I still think it's pretty slow art, but at this point Alchemist I'm just gonna pick it up, but no, I'm like as long as you stay with us in team fights and don't go fucking wander off again and lose it. And we managed to get Tinker right here. Pretty much like they they still think it's safe around the map when we're five men. No, we're like okay let's just push in it, we have ages. And next calls out the GG. So yeah, they they never evolved their game fully. We still try to pick people off, but we were for the most part four or five landing, except for maybe like one guy always off on his own. So yeah, you have to evolve your gameplay depending on the situation. And pretty much we're gonna get this middle rack. They, and they can't defend because Punk already wasted his boat. So there you go. No, I'm not... This video is mostly for like newer people who don't know how to play against Invis heroes or just those heroes that pick people off. But yeah. Just stick together and hope for the best. And try and make those little changes to your gameplay and that's how you win. As long as, like if, if they stay the same way, trying to go one in at a time, trying to pick people off, it's not gonna work for them if there's four or five of you ready to fucking kill them. But yeah, pretty much GG. That's about it. And here goes their team talking shit now to each other. But that doesn't help anyone to be honest. Just, just makes you hate Dota. <laughs> talking shit makes you hate Dota. But yeah, good game. Ricky's not talking his shit anymore because he got owned. But yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs>